Hey everybody, so in today's quick tip, we're gonna talk about how to control your 3D tool paths. There's a number of different ways to do it. Today's quick tip is about how to use your stock. Now, every time you set up a job, you run the stock wizard, and with the stock wizard, you can add additional offsets in X, Y, or Z, but what you're establishing is the material that you want a machine, okay? The software uses this as a boundary when we're generating our 3D tool paths. Using the stock as a boundary, you can control where your toolpath is generated or not based on updating your stock geometry. Very simple thing to do. Uh, we're going to just go to our stock wizard here. Uh, we'll right click on stock and go to the stock wizard. Uh, from here, I'm just going to add, let's say, an inch of material uh, in the X positive direction and we'll choose OK. So we can clearly see we have more material on the right side of the part than on the left side of the part. And if we recompute our toolpath here, the toolpath will update targeting that material. Now this is a very useful feature that you can use to control where your toolpath is cutting in 3D. And I recommend you try it on your next project.